All right, let's look at a problem now where we're going to have to use the chain rule twice, not at the same time, but chain rule once to find a derivative and then to find the second derivative. So we're going for a higher order derivative on this, higher order derivative. derivative. And when I do that, I'm going to start with y equals 6 sine 2x plus 8. I'm going to go ahead and pick a u here, and I'm going to let my u be the 2x plus 8 part. The reason I want u to be 2x plus 8 is because that's actually the thing inside my big function. Okay, my big function in this case is sine. So du dx uh, is going to be equal to 2. All right. So what am I really working? I'm really working y equals 6 sine u. And when I take the derivative of this, the first derivative, y prime is going to be 6 times cosine of u times du dx. All right, so what does that mean? That means that the first derivative is actually going to be equal to 6 times the cosine of u times du dx, which is 2. Now, if we have 6 and cosine and then 2, and the 6 and 2 are not inside the cosine, then what I'm going to do to make this a really pretty math problem is I'm just going to go ahead and multiply 6 and 2 together. You cannot put the 2 inside the cosine. That's violating some very sacred mathematical laws. So we're going to have our first derivative as 12 cosine 2x plus 8. Now, the question is to find the second derivative. So in order to find the second derivative, I'm going to take the same exact steps. And oh, by the way, my u is good, again, for this. I can still use 2x minus 8 because now my outer function is cosine. My inner function is 2x plus 8. So the 2x plus 8 can be my u. What does that mean? That means that for, this, for the rest of this problem now, I'm going to be, work with u prime equals 12 cosine u. So take derivative. That's going to be y double prime now equals 12 times negative sine u times du dx. So what does that mean? That means that I've got my second derivative, and I'm going to just substitute in now my u's and du dx's. So y prime is going to be 12, negative 12, times the sine of u. What, and what is u? u is 2x plus 8, times du dx, which is just 2. So how do I finish this guy off? Just like this. y double prime is equal to negative 24 times the sine of 2x plus 8. And that's how you can find your second derivative. And uh, it's really, that's really all there is to it. We're going to use chain rule twice, and it's not bad at all.